everybody, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you a demonstration of how I make holiday potpourri. I enjoy making my own potpourri for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's inexpensive. Number two, it's relatively easy just to pick up a couple fresh ingredients like lemons or oranges and just boil them on your stovetop. You're going to get more staying power as far as scent goes and it is going to literally make your entire home smell like the holidays. Um, I do a lot of variations on my potpourri recipes. I have some that I use during summer, during spring, but this time of year it's all about the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and anything that smells like pumpkin pie. Um, so what I use, well the reason why this is such a great deal too, is because the spices that I picked up are all from the Dollar Tree. Um, as far as fresh ingredients, I use some lemon slices, orange slices, and I use a couple of stars of anise. I love the way anise smells because it reminds me of old-fashioned pizzelles. I think it's just got an amazing scent to it and it freshens up the potpourri. It just makes it pop. Um, you know, it acts very much like cinnamon. It's strong. It's, it's just, I don't know, it just really changes the scent and I love it. So as far as Dollar Tree products, I have some cinnamon sticks. This was actually a pretty good deal. Um, it's pretty full of cinnamon sticks. It says there's four ounces and the cinnamon sticks are four inches a piece. I mean, it's got to have, I don't know, maybe 15 cinnamon sticks in there. I don't know. I didn't count them, but it's a good deal for a dollar. Next, pure vanilla extract. This is awesome because it's pure vanilla extract. It's not imitation. This is going to make a difference in the staying power of your potpourri as well. The imitation works. Don't get me wrong. It'll do the trick. But as far as having that very strong aromatic vanilla scent, it's just better to use the pure stuff. It's just, it's stronger. Um, ground nutmeg. This is the staple ingredient in all things pumpkin pie, pumpkin rolls, pumpkin everything. So um, I like adding this to the potpourri because it gives it that extra holiday smell and you can leave it out if you're not a fan. Um, I don't like eating pumpkin pie, but I love the smell. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, I love using this in the potpourri. Ground cloves, all of this again from the Dollar Tree. This is a huge jar or container of ground cloves. I mean, 3.75 ounces. It's crazy. I mean, it's huge. For a dollar, if I bought this at our local grocery store, we have giant eagles around here. I don't even know. I don't even know what this would have cost. Like, who knows? Six bucks, maybe? I mean, I know a little tiny container is really expensive. If you're getting spices by McCormick, that's great. They're awesome, but they are pricey. So I thought for the use that I'm, I'm utilizing this for, you can't go wrong. Finally, ground cinnamon. Yes, I have the cinnamon sticks, but this is just for an added punch of scent. Um, it flavors the water, flavors it. It scents the water, and it's just, I don't know, it's just an extra layer of cinnamon. And you can't go wrong with an extra layer of cinnamon. So anyway, what I do is I use a Dutch oven. I'll take the lid off, as you can see. It's kind of discolored already from all of the potpourri that I have done in this before. So I'm gonna add all the fruit, including the end piece, because most of the essential oil that you're getting from fruit comes from the skin. You could also use a zester and zest away before you put it in there. It would probably be even more pungent, it would be stronger, but you know, doing it this way, it's okay too. So this is a large Dutch oven, and I can fit a lot in here. So. I'm using one, two, three, four, five cinnamon sticks because why not? They're a buck. And I'm using a generous splash of the extract, vanilla extract. And next I'm adding ground cinnamon. It's not as much as it looks. It's a lot, but it's not as much as it looks. It's kind of spreading out. And after that, oh my gosh, it'd be great if I could get this lid off. All right, so some nutmeg. 
Oh my gosh. I didn't open the nutmeg. That's okay. I'll put it in afterward. And some of the ground cloves. Pretty good sprinkling that. If you have fresh cloves, go ahead and use those. But the ground, it's just for scent. It doesn't matter. So then I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn that on high. I'm going to bring that up to a boil. As soon as that starts boiling, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. And the water is going to be evaporating from this like crazy. Once it starts to evaporate, you're going to want to give it a stir just to zhuzh things up a bit. And then after that, um, fill it up. Keep filling it up because as the water evaporates, you don't ever want to let this go down to nothing and burn your, your pan or scorch your pan because it will be ridiculous to try to clean if you do that. So keep an eye on it. And I don't know, if you have your own potpourri recipe and you can share it, that would be awesome. This is mine. Um, like I said, after this is over, I'm going to add some of the nutmeg that I didn't open. But this is going to make my entire house smell like the holidays. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful time preparing for Christmas. Uh, again, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye-bye.